I'm Ryan Betson. I'm Josh Saunders. I'm Dylan Bun. We are the Pop Cultures, and today we are going to be talking about our spooky supernatural encounters. Ghosts aren't real, right? No, but this stems. But why, why do you think they are now? <clears throat> no, all of this a stems from one particular moment that happened today. Millie and I were sitting on the couch watching some Netflix, just chilling. Not, not, <laughs> not that Netflix and chill. Chaos theory. Sadly. <laughs> but so James was asleep in his bassinet in our room, which is the other end of the house. Other end of the house. Yep. Then out of nowhere in James's room, which is there, his other mo- end of the house. The other end of the house. His mobile starts playing. <laughs> mm-hmm. And like the ding, Why ding, does ding. your like less than one year old have a mobile? <laughs> like, <laughs> who was fucking calling one year old? Yeah. I'm like, who's calling James? In this oh, house? it's Kira. Oh, it's his cousin. <laughs> he's like, hey, meow. <laughs> baby, talk to each other. No, his little mobile. You know, it sits above. You know, it sits above uh, his cot. Mm. Started just playing, and that thing is mechan. It's not digital. Like it's mechanical. Yeah. So the only way wind it can up. trigger is you when you wind yeah. it. So you're gonna get this. So no batteries. You're gonna get a lot of this now uh, with a kid, and all the noisy toys they get. Things are just going to make noise when they shouldn't. Mm. And I guarantee you, once he's sleeping in his own room like all the time, it'll be just as you put him down. Shh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the the whole toy thing is, yeah, it, it just they just do it. Yeah. Battery powered or... But this isn't battery powered. It. No, but battery powered or not, they just... They mm. do and it beyond sometimes. all logic... You can't turn them off. Like yeah. they're just going <laughs> off, and the switch doesn't work, the shake doesn't work, the button doesn't work. You rip the batteries out, still doesn't work. It's got residual power in it, and then it dies <laughs> off. <laughs> you unplug it, it's still gone. This elephant thing was. Look, no, I guarantee it's not a spooky encounter. But that's something. I think that's something we should talk about at the end. Wait, what? What, spooky encounters. what time did that happen during the day? Oh, was it like uh, sometime? Sun, ghosts only come out at night. Was it sun time, <laughs> Yes, yeah, it was the sun time, Josh. <laughs> yeah. Not the dark time. The sun time. Because things are infinitely more spookier, obviously. Oh, don't get me wrong. If we, was, if we were sitting there and it happened now, when it's dark... And me and Dylan weren't here. I would have pooped myself. Mm. It doesn't take like, much for you to poop Yeah, no, I'm like, I'm not going down the end of the house. Like, that and after playing out last the other day. So what would you, you do? Know, yes. <laughs> you mean last night? Well, even people don't know when this video is going up. Yeah, I think people... We're pretty open about when we... Re- <laughs> you said it in our Facebook group today. Yeah. We record Facebook. everything group on slash Thursday. Facebook.com slash group slash pop culture. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> Money when extended. did we get good at plugging our own content? We never do this. Anyway, back to yeah, so the spooky. The short yeah, answer right. is, I would like to go in whether you guys have had any spooky... I've had a couple other a couple other ones, but... I've had one that, that stands out to me. Mm. Now, I've got to preface by saying... Or preface. Yeah. However you prefer it. Straight up however you prefer your preface. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm skeptic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I, I believe in what what I can see, and what I can touch. You know what what's what's real. But living when I was, I'm gonna say thirteen or fourteen, maybe. Hey Dylan, um, if you edit this one, can you put like some nice ambient noise underneath? Mm-hmm. Sounds extra spooky. If I was thirteen or fourteen ish, I was home alone um, with my dog at the time, Chinky, little, little shit Chinky. Uh, we'll censor that later. <laughs> <laughs> That's out of a. It's the name of a elf out of a kids book. But also, I, I get the. It's reference. also a racial slur. Still no, not that's, right. Oh, <laughs> you nearly got me there. <laughs> so it's a, I anyway, say it's a name used in a Dave Chappelle joke. It still doesn't count. Anyway, Chinky is getting on in years. She's getting really old, so she didn't have much oomph in her anymore. Um, but there was always this one corner of my bedroom. That she would just like stare at, just on, just look at that corner of the room. That's weird. I'm like, that's fucking weird, dog. It's <laughs> too much catnip for you. But this one particular, I was home alone for some reason. I don't, I don't remember why. But she comes in, and she stares at that corner of the room, and then goes fucking ballistic. Yeah. Like circles, and then she'd like run at the corner and come back, and she's doing all this, and her hair's coming up. I haven't seen her move like that for like ten years. Like getting riled up. Yeah, like fucking insane. And I was like. Ooh, that's real. Because my bedroom, I was like, that's really scary. So I left the bedroom. I'm like, come on, just I shut my door, and then I sat in the lounge room and turned on the TV, and the TV goes on, off, and then the lights go, and they go off too because the power tripped for some reason. I was just like, that's not okay. <laughs> that is not okay at all. No, I never had anything like that since. What age are you at this time? 14, 13, okay. 14. Mm-hmm. So old enough to know like what's normal and what's kind of not. Yeah, not but normal. old enough to be still be like. 
old enough to be like kind of <laughs> <laughs> old enough to be like I, sh- um, I should I should be macho because I'm a yeah, dude I need but I'm adult. still a little bitch of a kid at yeah. the same time you're at that age where you, yeah, you feel you should be a man but you can yeah. also still get hugged so TLDR my dog just went psycho like in this particular corner of my room and really really scared me and it's you know the, the folk tales or whatever is that dogs can see slash sense mm. ghosts and then followed by a random power outage which, being 13 at the time, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. See, but granted, like, just push all the I had, I had a very, Oh, this, we know what to do about that. This isn't a supernatural moment, but I had some very similar, a very similar thing. So I was playing uh, Call of Duty 4. You, you I know what you're going with this. Yeah, I've told you this, this story. Yeah, you've told me this story. This was po- like two years ago. <laughs> huh? Like two years ago. Ten years ago now. Mm, yeah, this story was Six good. or seven. This story, yeah, I was, uh, I was meant to be studying for an exam, but I wasn't. See, that's where you went wrong. Yeah. So I was playing Call of Duty 4. Um, and you guys have played it, yeah? yeah. You know, you remember the moment where you're flying away in the chopper and then a fucking bomb goes off and you fall. So as 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 you fall out of the helicopter crash, you crawl towards right. And then you see that mushroom cloud and that wave just hits you. The second that wave just hits me, the fucking power blows out. Like the and you second you- it hits my character, I'm like, did I do that? Did when I- you had a, a buddy in the room with you. I did. You? I had a buddy in the room. I totally forgot because I was in the game. And he's like, Hey, I'm like, ah, ah, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> yeah. So but was he there? No he, no, he, no, he was totally there. He was trying to study, so he was like, "Damn, the lights out." <laughs> Man, watch. Thank God that? he stopped playing that loud yeah, and gun it, noise. It turns out game. some dude in the Ute ran into the power pole out front. But um, you thought you caused it. Yeah, for a I, I, at that moment, I'm like, "Did I break the power? <laughs> Did I break the world? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> from a game, Dylan. It's not really supernatural. No, I just wanted to go with the whole like lights off thing. But yeah. Uh, a series not, of unfortunate events. No, yes. I mean, I've always had the paranoia of when you're at home and you've got a long hallway and you kind of like turn, turn the, the lights, lights off on. and there's a distance between, you know, like six meters <laughs> yeah. and the, the doors at the ends open. You get that tingly on your back. And you're like... And when you turn around to walk to your yeah, room, is that weird? Like, yeah, I'm just going to walk a little bit faster to get out or of Or as you go into hallway. your room, you do that quick like whoop around yeah, the corner. Like, I'm just going to quickly yeah get in. So there's that, but that's just in your head. But um, my brother, who's... A pretty straightforward guy. And, From another mother? Uh, same mother. Oh, oh, interesting. One of the real brothers. Hence nice. a brother. Um, <laughs> he uh, doesn't really believe in these kind of things. He's a logical person. Makes a lot of sense. But he's adamant that one time, because we used to live at my Nana's house on holidays. We'd go and stay with her during the school holidays. And he, they had like a trestle or whatever you want to call it, mattress on a metal frame mm-hmm. that sat next to her bed because we were only like Trundle kids. bed. Trundle bed. I haven't and heard that word for so long. What, really? I don't know. You need more trundle beds. That struck me. Um, bed. Yeah, so... <laughs> I miss my trundle bed. He was, he like, roll off onto the other bed. <laughs> she was sleeping, and he was asleep, and my her husband, my grandfather, mm-hmm. who I never met, he died, like, a year or so before I was born. How much older is your brother than you? Uh, he's about five years younger than me. Younger? Yeah. So how do you know what he looks like? Well, my dad drew a photo. Well, he's got pictures around the house because okay. it's my nana's oh, okay. house. But he has like a very specific drawing that my dad's got that sits on my uh, nana's mm-hmm. side table. So yeah, he is adamant that he was asleep and he woke up and at standing at the end of the bed was uh, my grandfather just <laughs> looking over her like in a in a caring kind of way. Okay, not like I'm gonna destroy. Not, like, not uh, in a <laughs> your soul is mine kind of way. And you're next. <laughs> Um, you but fuck. yeah, and he, you know, and I'm like, really, like, really, come on, come on, and he seems pretty adamant about it. Yeah. So, and the fact it's that it's he's always, psychological makes well, it yeah, worse. Yeah, what what makes you kind of go, what makes you kind of question is when you do know them as a very grounded and logical person, and for them to be so right. foot down, no, this fucking happened, and it's not like he's like bragging about it. It's kind of like he's a bit self conscious about it, a bit embarrassed to talk exactly. about it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but. I don't know, maybe. But then again, I'm like, how do you know what he looks like, really? Like, you know, you see the photograph, you go to yeah, bed next to the photograph. That could have been anyone at the end. That of could have been any <laughs> ghost. You know what I mean? Like, is it the ghost of the grandfather? Come on. It's just some dude. It's really into his name. But yeah, that's... that's how old Nan, was Nan, had a friend, Nan had a friend over. Oh, he would have been out. like uh, seven or something. <laughs> Stinky quickie. <laughs> Seven. No, but Seven. you know you can put one and one together. Like if you or two and two, whatever. You know if you see if you see a ghost caringly looking over your grandma and your grandpa's dead, you must be like, well, that's probably my grandpa. Well, what is caring though? Let's see a caring face. I like yours. Yours is a bit scary. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, what's your what's your nan's name? Phyllis. It's like, hey, Phyllis. <laughs> that's such a nana name. <laughs> that's such a nana the name. Phil, who knew? Yeah, well, know. my nan's Valerie. So my name was Ruby. So. 
They're all very like. Very, you, you very guys got like. What was yours again? Valerie. That's pretty cool. Ruby's pretty cool. Phil. Phyllis. No sounds offense. Like a horse. My <laughs> passed away Nana, bless her soul. She was lovely. Phyllis, though, that is not a sexy name. It See, probably Millie, wasn't meant to be. Millie's grandparents. Then. We've got Deanne, and that's, cool. uh, that's all right. And Mary. Mary's another very Mary's nice a name. conventional name. Yeah, uh, and and my mm-hmm. my nan on my stepdad's side is Rose. Oh, all these old lady oh. names. Ruby <gasps> Rose. <gasps> Shit secrets out. <clears throat> Oh, well, that's if James was a girl, I was going to name him. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, side note: Millie's grandmother, her name's Gr- uh, Mary uh, Grace, but her real name's Mary, but everyone calls her Grace. So it's fucking confusing. I've no idea what's going on with her actual name. Well, so okay. yeah, we're, we're gonna if we and now we don't either. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. So if James was going to be a girl, his name would have been Ruby Grace. Oh, good. why couldn't he still be James Grace? <laughs> why are you keeping these gender barriers <laughs> on your son? All right, so. <laughs> So you've not had any scary, spooky encounters personally? Got bitten by a werewolf once. Does that count? Uh, that's not spooky. No, no, that's, that's, more gra- that's, that's more graphically. That's a bit supranatural. It's a bit yeah, next, no, next, next sorry. level. No, then no. Supra? Yeah. Well, it's like super, then the supra. It's the oh, next the one. Supra. Yeah, the Yeah. The supra network. And it's really fashionable <laughs> ghosts. Like when, like, I think I saw... That's like a fashion show of like the like, 1850s. About, yeah, you know how all we, we always seem to, whenever you see ghosts in TVs, they're always from like the 1850s or whatever. What about the ghosts that died yeah, last what week? Are, like, yeah, modern where, day ghosts. the ghost from like 1984 with really good bangs. Yeah, like <laughs> you know big I mean? like, shoulder pads and, and stuff. Dreadlocks and high as fuck. <laughs> like, the, like a, yeah, ghosts from the 1960s. Like, what's I want, going on I want that imagine, researched. Imagine Why do ghosts only come from <laughs> like the 1900s? Because AD, our AD, generation has sinned greatly. <clears throat> We so we don't deserve, come back. We don't yeah. deserve to be ghosts. We've got we've got nothing important I mean, like, to come back to. Like, ghosts these days resolve. would just you know ask you for the Wi-Fi password and to watch Netflix. <laughs> I don't want to scare you. I just want to keep watching TV. Well, nobody turns Netflix off. They just leave it on the TV. Exactly. And keep it running. Yeah. It's so like, look, like, like, I yeah. See, that that's a supernatural encounter for me. Are you still watching this show? And then it just says yes. By that itself. is a bit creepy. Like, this is, this stops, isn't haunting. So. I just real. I I missed the last two seasons of Game of Thrones. You know, mm. being dead and all. Mm. So it's like, mm. really, can I just please? This this is you know how the ghosts are still in purgatory because of their unfinished business. Yeah, it's like, I didn't get to see the end of Game of Thrones, so I'm just, <laughs> just waiting, just waiting for season eight to finish, show keeps, so I can leave. The Netflix keeps going to Game of Thrones, even though Netflix doesn't have Game of Thrones. But it, you know, I'm like, it's this, 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 no, this ghost is convenient. You get done. I, I'm, you get, I don't have to pay for HBO Go. Yeah. This is great. No, you get done for like torrenting Game of Thrones. Like, I don't even watch it. It's a ghost <laughs> torrenting Game of Thrones. And then the ghost was like, <laughs> 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 he's like, uh. Boo! Fuck it! Fucking human. <laughs> All right, so I've got two examples. Um, so the first one I remember I was about seven or eight. Um, we were driving from where my auntie lives in Toongabby, which is country Victoria. <laughs> where? Sorry. Toongabby. Is that it sounds like characters? somewhere out of like like what Looney Tunes would yeah. call their their town. Yeah, Toongabby. Yeah. Toongabby. So driving from Toongabby to Taralgon. Now it's pre- <laughs> sorry. What was that second town called? Taralgon. <laughs> Where are you from? Country <laughs> Victoria. Just, um, yeah, so there, there is nothing but paddocks and darkness, right? Yes, yeah. So, because like, this is super country. So we're driving. I'm, I'm in the back seat. My sister's on the other side as well. <laughs> parents are driving. Um, and like, my sister and I are looking forward. And then we see a dude, clear as day, in like jeans and like a flannelette shirt, walking right down the middle of the road. Oh, that was me. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Dude, that's so convenient. Yeah. I was older yeah, back and, then. Mil- and my both my sister and I are adamant. We were both going, "What the fuck?" And we look back because, and then of course, nothing's there. Horrifying. Did you run him over? I will- <laughs> <laughs> was he under the car? Yeah, like I've blanked out the next sequence of events when yeah. my when my dad is breaking so your body. So traumatic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blacked out. Um, and the other one that's like it's clear as day. I was uh, I was saying it was my house where I lived in Mill Park. I had to go take the bin out, right? Like, as in, like, take the rubbish from the kitchen oh, to the bin. Taking the bins out is, like, haunting. Yeah. See, but the thing is, you like, have all day to do it, and you choose to do it at 9 o'clock. Well, yeah, because uh, I've never had a problem, right? So, as... So, my car... I don't think my car's at a time. So, I've walked out... Is your car haunted in this? No. <laughs> my is car's, like, upside down. It's like it's like the shining. Car's upside down and spinning. <laughs> you, just yeah. walk, you walk past it, and he goes, beep. <laughs> just <Okay>. the horn. Is <laughs> <laughs> no, so what happens, as I walk the... So, there's the, this is the back door, right? So, as... There was a bunch of bushes and shit. Driveway bins were here. Walking past bushes at night time is yeah. the worst. So as I've gone up, I've gone up past the bushes. I've turned right. And as I've turned right to go to the bin, there is like this fucking huge beam of light thing, right? It's one thing. It's, it's straight lights. No, no, no. As in like it is eye piercing white. And my, my body's just stopped. I've dropped the bag and I've turned and I've walked inside and I've gone, 
One possibility like, is high beams from a car. Look, if no, you no, don't no, want to no, take no. the this garbage not, out, just say it. But right? this was not a busy road. Yeah, if you don't want to take the rubbish <laughs> out, stop <laughs> making up excuses. <laughs> no, but like it was, it's insane how my body just goes, whoa, drop and leave. And like it's fat. I, I Did can't you walk explain back? it. Uh, no, I kind of went. Did you just, what direction no, no, is I it coming run. from? You know how you just have that that note moment. It's like nope. Yeah. So the short answer is I've walked out and I've gone. And then just went back. So you did have a nope. Yeah, like so, with, there was an like, it was weird. There wasn't like an active moment of no, nope, and then leaving. It's just going and just leaving. <laughs> so what was it? A light coming forward, <clears throat> down? Uh, as in it was just like a sh- like a, a shape. Bo- a shape. There. Okay, it was just there. It was just this shape, and then I've just gone. kind of like um, uh, Alien Mr. Burns during radiation. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. pretty like you know how it's just this glowing thing Will in you the be distance. Friends. I'm here to love. <laughs> um, you know, something like that. Like, I turned the corner and I was like, nah, and then bow. Cool. So, this is where it gets interesting. I want to talk about, obviously, I don't believe in the supernatural, but I find that shit fascinating as hell. Mm. So fascinating. If, if, you, if, you, like, if, if you look at my YouTube play history, it's me finding channels that I don't like and watching them out of hate. <laughs> and... Change. You're you're a and really top five human. freaky photos and <laughs> videos of ghosts and shit on. Like, See the thing I is, love them. with in regards to like ghosts and all that, there's nowhere to really go for like proper information. Like yeah. if you you can't watch ghost hunters, but that sh- those shows are just so bad. In and so I believe ways. there is a like, conspiracy. They're, they're they're looking for a ghost from like the 1400s in Russia, and they're like, "Are you here? If he was, he wouldn't know what the fuck to say. He doesn't speak that language." <laughs> But like, and then you start trolling the documentaries in in like Netflix. Yeah. My conspiracy is that they're all rated two stars for a reason. Like, not because they're actually bad. It's just a, like all of the al- aliens. You're saying the ghosts rate them low so they don't get caught. No, out. I think <laughs> Netflix does to hide the truth. Whoa. Oh, to, to make people believe they're not. Yeah, true. like all these documentaries are fake. Like they're they're all stupid. Like you're all two stars. Don't watch them. I think it would be way cooler to live earlier in the century or last century. I don't. Where the Spanish flu wasn't really that fun. Yeah, well, the no, black, but I'm black saying like the forties, the forties and fifties, where they come out with these like doctored fic pictures of like creepy things that are just like photoshop of the 1950s oh, like <laughs> but you do, cryptozoology you look it up on youtube to kind of be like this is fake you know like loch ness monster is one photograph of some kind of like see, I, see this yeah, is like i love thing. that shit that shit is fascinating like, that's the why there's so many ghost sightings then because they've all been debunked now there was no th- you couldn't go anywhere for proof <laughs> exactly it was all all myths and legends now it's all like Mythbusters. No, I, I still. There's obviously still things out there that we haven't seen yet. We don't understand. In regards to like the the mythical creatures like Loch Ness and Bigfoot or whatever. Like there's, you know, we we don't know what's at the bottom of the ocean. I guarantee there's some real fucked up shit. You're down saying there. Bigfoot's down at the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And yeah, him, the Yeti. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> could, could, could tell Loch Ness. Tell me, show me he's not, and I'll believe you. So it could be. <laughs> that that can go to like religion too, though. You think religion's at the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> <That's right>. oh, <laughs> okay. We're all looking up there for God, but he's actually down there. <laughs> yeah. no, but you know what I mean? Like, by that logic, like, show me he's not real and I'll believe you. Well, that's the same with um, well, like God. That's, yeah. that's now you're, now you're Josh, a fine line. That's faith. That's, that's Dylan's faith in cryptozoology. It's his oh, faith, that's your faith in the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah. That's his faith in the Kraken. I celebrate Cthulhu. Loch Ness Cthulhu. Easter. <laughs> what? Where we eat. Eggs still. What the Just fuck are we talking about? I don't right know now? anymore. I I, no, no, we'll keep going because you, you gave your opinion on whether you believe. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I want to. You want to believe? I want do, 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 to. Do. Yeah. Do. Roll film. Yeah. Um, Can you please cut some X Files in there, Dylan? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do, like, because I find, I do mm. find it all very fascinating, but I think if it was real, it'd either be a really, really bad. Mm. And not wanting to live through it, and two, it wouldn't be as cool because it'd become like the norm. Like, oh, well, I, I mean, it is real. Like the mystery is gone. Mm. So yeah. I, I enjoy not knowing and not believing, but then still having that little possibility that, little that something yeah. could happen. But I do, I do like doing what you do and just YouTubing like top five, you know, ghost encounters because some of them are really, really scary. <clears throat> Like horrifying. Like there, there was a really good one that I saw once. I, I think it's clearly staged like an office building just going fucking ballistic at like three in the morning. Yeah. Oh, crazy. <laughs> no, just once. I remember one like a taxi pulls up. Like you can, you see the dash cam, right? It's all clearly one shot. There's a camera at the back, at the back of the taxi. There's one at the front. There's a person on the side of the road. They pull up. The door opens. No one gets in. Door shuts. Drive away. No one in the rear view. And like there's a constant camera either way. I'm like, the one that sticks with me the most is it's like. 
three girls playing like in their lounge room and mm. they're looking there's like a one doorway wide stairway <laughs> the head peeps at the top yeah and the head peeps out yeah. and then they run out of the house <laughs> and look up the stairs and says it's a bitch and they run away have you seen what? that video oh there's no, a great there's a great girl let right. me finish mine because right. yeah they do that they look up the stairs and it's not a head poking out it's like a really tall lady whose head's like hitting the roof like so it's sideways mm. and they shit themselves and run outside and turn back and she's like you can just see through the window and up the stairs and she's still standing there and it just just that imagery like okay. really made me go I think oh. that's the exact same one we're talking about except if you re-listen to what she says so what happens is there's three girls playing this little head pops out the, t- the side at the top of the door and then they go what the fuck is that and as they walk up the, they look up the stairs and there's like a person at the top and then I shit you not she yells out it's a bitch <laughs> and, oh, yeah, and then they run outside and I think it's the exact I same think video ghosts are pretty bitchy yeah but I love that that's like it's a because I was watching it I'm like that's pretty compelling yeah oh, wait what? Rewind is like, I like, like 80 times. Like, it's a bitch! <laughs> and then I'm like, it's fucking beautiful. I, I think you just ruined that video. I think the scariest now. YouTube one I saw was when the girl was doing a little girl was doing like a YouTube video and she farted and she blamed <laughs> it on a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Did, oh, yes. I didn't do it. There's a ghost in here. I'm scared. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> That was it. <laughs> um, but visibly, watch watch the video back when and Josh is telling that story and see the hairs on my arm stick up, my eyes water because it's still the imagery in your mm. mind still yeah. creeps you out. Yeah. The disjointed, yeah. longer limbs, the yeah. staring well, faces. I, I do I do enjoy a good scare and actually one of my favorite podcasts to listen to is a no sleep podcast because mm. a Reddit a subreddit called No Sleep where people like write ghost stories and put them mm. in there. Put some the, of them are really shit, but some of them are spectacular. We'll the put no, the link in the description. Yeah, and yeah give them, the, give them the No due. Sleep podcast has a, a, they're at like season nine. There's a cast of voice actors who they get uh, to to read certain stories and yeah. act, act them out. And some of them are really, really like really unsettling and upsetting just to listen to. It's my top podcast. That's what I listen to all the time. Before you go to sleep. No, actually, on the drive here and back. It's my weekly ritual on the Thursday. What about, like, I just don't... The, the logistics of being a ghost or having ghosts. Like, I love sci-fi fantasy. Now, maybe that's why I like it the most, because it's not real. Like, Ghostbusters is, like, my top three favourite movie of all time. But, you know, it, like, doesn't make sense, though. Like, if you've got ghosts, why do certain ones come back? Why do they not? Because they don't if, make if it out of purgatory. Then it brings it into, like, heaven. And if there's a heaven, like... Is there like a 1901 heaven, a 1902 heaven, or like the 19th century heaven, 20th <laughs> yeah, you, you century You have heaven, to like, be there for a good like 150 years before you get in your first excursion, and that's when you can like, go out. But like, do you go there behavior. and yeah. visit? Good like, you're, like you're like, oh, when I get to heaven, I'm going to visit my uncles and aunties and mums and dads and grandmas and grandpas. But then, like, are their grandpas there? Are <gasps> oh, their grandpas? There's like shit. a billion people. Like, look. There is a It'd be gra- overpopulated, is- wouldn't it? How they? I don't think. I don't think heaven is limited to space. But I'm just saying, generations <laughs> live in a, a set place on Earth, and they build a house over or a different house. Yeah, but, but, but Dylan, think where's about, the space Dylan, there? They're Dylan, all in the Dylan, same area. Think about it. Over centuries. Okay, let's apply this to something else. Got, wait, wait, look, I just want to say, is that space in heaven filled with like the cavemen who used to live in that place? Then the indigenous people who used to live there. Uh, each each like, era has its Dylan, own. Okay. Okay. okay go. How do you kill a, a werewolf? Silver bullet doesn't matter. It's all it's all fucking made up. Same thing as this heaven thing. Whoa! So, so you, you you can make any rule you want about how it works. But I want to know the logistics behind it. How how it works? I'm not saying it works. I'm just saying if it did, I want specifics. Like, but, has nobody thought this through in all this time that they've had this religion? Actually, well, this order is so. The, so Louis C.K. just did a. a Are we a, really going to talk about religion? No, not at all. So Louis C.K. just Thank did. Fuck. Just did a 2017 special on Netflix, right? And he won, but he talks about like dying because you know he's morbid as hell. It's great, and he talks about how uh, there's this old woman, you know, and she's like, "Oh, I can't, you know, when I pass away, I'm gonna go see my my partner Frank in heaven." And he's like, "And if there is a heaven, is there some guy's like, hey Frank, wife's come back?" He's like, "What?" <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> like I've had ten Ooh. years. I'm like I've had ten years. I'm chilling out. I'm having a great time. But then, then that destroys his wife, heaven, so it's not like, heaven yeah, anymore. And my wife's gonna come here and just fucking give me shit. 
She's gonna get all of my grill again. I'm gonna play golf. Like, oh, Louis C.K. is just genius. I'm just saying. You mean I can't play golf with Archangel Michael <laughs> this weekend? <laughs> yeah, like, like, how many people are like wanting to hang out with Jimi Hendrix or John Lennon? Like, wouldn't he be like, oh god, here comes billion person. Like, you are aware this is heaven. I'm supposed to be having a good time. Yeah, this is my heaven as well, right? <laughs> Piss off! I don't want to sign autographs. <laughs> So you got like the heaven police to, to look after him. We'll, we'll, we'll put a chart up and yeah, we'll work it out. All the security the guards years. that died and gone to heaven, they're now a security for Yeah, like, Jim and you hate being a security guard. You have to continue being a security guard? <laughs> That's not heaven for them then. <sighs> like, I, look, I, like, if we die and we become ghosts, like, do we get to pick the clothes that yeah, we wear? Yeah, do I get to pick the age that I was? Or can do I, I have to be, like, be like 17 no, it's all as the you time. die, what you'll Can wear. I be like a thinner ghost? Can I request that? Be right, if I'm like on my deathbed, I'm like, get me some sweet clothes because I'm gonna be wearing these in heaven for eternity. Like so, some Marley flares on, yeah. yeah. Like, I want to look cool. Wig. And if I'm old, like, am I or am I like sprightly and yeah, still old? Or can I choose like, I'm gonna be ten today. I'm gonna be twenty one today. I'm gonna be forty today. I feel like I've way too deep into this. I'm Ryan Benson. I'm Josh Saunders. I'm Dylan Bowden, or am I? It's got me deep in thought now. <sighs> have you had any of your own supernatural encounters whether it be some cryptozoology with like the giant panther that, al- that al- al- allegedly rolls Gippsland have you seen yeah, no, seriously there's apparently there's a, everyone thinks there's this giant panther but it's just probably just some I fuck- thought he said panda oh, yeah, I thought he said why panda. Would a panda oh man a giant Gippsland. panda in the Gippsland mountains that'd be amazing um, yeah have you had your have you had a ghost experience a panther supernatural <laughs> are they like fictional creatures big hero well, hey did you did you ever see that article the other week about how apparently Australia is a myth a real place well probably not there you go I'm gonna give it to him we're done here but yeah have you had a supernatural experience comment below let us know if you don't want to comment below you can always go to the, our newly created Facebook group facebook.com slash group slash pop culturist a lot of slashing happening we can talk group. about our supernatural stories there as well all the things <laughs> <laughs> ah fuck <laughs>